very exciting. It's time for our good news story of the day. In the United States, an estimated 65% of firefighters are volunteers. We're about to meet two of them from Riley County, Kansas. Please welcome husband and wife duo, Battalion Chief Roger Davis and Captain Kim Davis. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. So nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us, how long have you been volunteering as firefighters? I started in 1984, so I guess that's going on 38 plus years. And I have been on the department for a little over 20 years. Wow. What made you each decide to do it? What was that moment like? Uh, we bought our first home, and it was outside the city limits of Manhattan, and a fellow state employee encouraged me to join the fire department. Um, he lived in the neighborhood we lived in, and I enjoyed it and just stuck with it. Kim, what's we it get, like to uh, work together? There are moments when it's challenging, <laughs> but most of the time we've just got a mission to do and we just stay on track and get that done. I mean, there, there are so many people who become volunteer firefighters. It's fascinating to us that there are so many citizens living amongst us who are so brave that you would go into a building when everybody else is running out. How can people, if they, are if they have that stuff, if they have that in internal bravery, how do they become volunteer firefighters? Uh, they should just contact their local volunteer fire department, uh, probably need to fill out an application, be 18 years of age, do a drug test, uh, a basic background screening, and uh, the, usually the department will provide their training for them. Is, are you, you're in the firehouse now, obviously, right? Is there a pole? <laughs> <laughs> there is an upper level, but no pole. No pole. Oh. There's a kitchen though, right? Uh, we have a small kitchen, but our, since our department is totally volunteer, we don't have people here 24 seven. We get paged and then we, come from our homes or our place of work and uh, go to the station, catch the truck and go to the scene. You've uh, trained a lot of volunteer fire firefighters over the years. Um, a lot of them have gone on to become career firefighters. That has to be very gratifying for you. Yes, I, more than I can count, um, but we have probably several dozen that are with paid fire departments. Uh, most of them are officers. They're scattered all over the country here in Manhattan, Topeka, Kansas City, New York, um, all over the place. Do you, I'm just curious, the truck has got me in a headspace. Do you guys alternate who drives? Uh, we have, as far as our entire department, some people are checked out on the trucks to drive them and uh, others haven't got that level of training or don't want to be drivers. But as far as the two of us, we kind of sometimes argue over who gets the brush truck, who has to take the tanker or the pumper. Uh, but yeah, we can, we're able to drive any of them that we have. Wow. Well, listen, we have some news. Thank you for being so inspiring and joining us today. We partner with Hilton and we're sending you to the Hilton Tulum Riviera Maya all-inclusive resort for a much-deserved getaway. So pack your bags for seven days or you'll stay in an ocean view suite nestled in a secluded bay overlooking white sands and crystal blue waters. Uh -oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's pleasure. seven days, no matter what, do not put out any fires <laughs> while you're on the trip. Just track. turn your phones off. Turn your phones off. Hey, thank you again for all of the dedication and, and hard work you're doing. We appreciate it. Very nice inspirational you. couple. Thank you for having us on. Thank you. Very cool. We'll be right back.